Greetings and salutations, Vikings, and welcome to Sir Whoop S Immortal Death. The developers were so kind as to reach out via email to have a look at this game. I don't know what to expect exactly. All I know is uh looks like an open world fantasy RPG. Uh with some dungeon crawling, exploration, and it doesn't take itself so serious. I mean, come on, the name, Sir Whoop Ass, Immortal Death. But with no further ado, I say we hop right into it and have a look what the fuss is about. The pointy end of the sword goes into the enemy. <laughs> I get a feeling this is a very meme and hilariously and stupid game. Uh, stupid not in a bad, se a bad way, but like, you know, uh, making fun of a lot of things. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. So pass. The immortals, not so this secretly. This begins like many other games in this genre, on a dark and stormy night. <laughs> this is, of course, only for dramatic effect. Adding to this drama, we see Ultimate the main antagonist biscuit. busy with evil deeds. <laughs> this is used as comic relief, but also to establish character. All villains need a loyal and annoying servant that ultimately will betray his master in the end. This story is no exception and has chosen Sullivan for the task. My Sullivan? Lord, the experiment has escaped. He pants. Two things. First, sound the alarm and activate all the traps. The immortal annoyedly replies. And if he somehow should make it out, I'm sure the dragon, I'm sorry, Wyvern wouldn't mind a snack. Second, <laughs> you need some exercise. Sorry, but if I sugarcoat it, you'll eat that too, he continues. <laughs> Trainee. But what about the protagonist, our hero? <laughs> the one with a genius. fancy walk and a what mighty fuck? weapon. Yeah, this is not him. <laughs> this is just a random trash mob. Will he be used later on in the game? No. Say goodbye to him forever. What is this, this maximum head up there? We see our actual hero, but it's too peaceful. Something needs to break this tranquility. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my goodness. New quest, trapped. Okay, the mouse movement is super fast. Uh, I think this is played best on... Um, Mouse and another mouse and keyboard on uh, gamepad. The, wait, the head is sleeping. We can punch. What in the god's name? <laughs> is there an exit sign? <laughs> I'm not gonna ask. Pick up snoring skull. Every hero has a sidekick that, for no apparent reason, has a superpower that will aid the hero in solving critical puzzles. Okay. We picked Lucy for this mission. Oh, it's Will steering her in this. backstory and how she ended up at this convenient location be explained? Probably not. <laughs> Our hero picked her up and continued with his quest. Oh, God, this is hilarious. Activate with Lucy. Just give me a quick, quick second here because the uh, audio is, I think, all over the place. It's a little bit too loud. If you ask me. So let's master this down on to like 34. I think that's okay. Activate Lucy. Everything is pink now. Does it make any sense? I don't know. Does it have to? Probably not. Oh, oh, it's like showing me. Oh, she has telekinesis superpower thingies. I see. What in... Is that a gnome? 
Pick up the garden gnome. Gnomes are your main sources of protein. Press button to consume one. <laughs> they are delicious. Gnomes are hiding inside barrels and crates, but can also be found roaming around freely in the landscape. <laughs> We're eating gnomes? What the fuck? <laughs> it screams. <laughs> oh. Hello there. Okay. Some punches, some blood. I like the visuals. Oh, Amethyst shards. Look at that. This can be used to purchase heavy weapons, such as hammers from the Black Schmidt. Black Schmidt. <laughs> By the immortal's beard. This shiny thing can be used to purchase ranged weapons, such as stars and crossbows from the Black Schmidt. <laughs> I love that they call Black Schmidt. What the fuck? Open chest. Is this a mimic? Oh, this would be hilarious if it's a mimic. Oh, look at him being super happy. Your first weapon. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Tastes taste like chicken. You found your very first weapon. Press button to tear up your enemies and manage your equipped weapon in the inventory. Okay, okay. Uh, that's... Oh. Oh. Orc noob. Ooh. Okay. LMG 360 no scope kill? What the fuck? <laughs> what? This is... Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> and the secrets in here? No. So I wonder, can I can I tab on him or something like that? What if I block? Oh, look at that. All block and, and counterattack gives me a crit hit. I see, I see. Look at Sir Whoopass critical review. By yay yay Abrams. Looks promising. <laughs> Could definitely <laughs> use some more lens flares though. <laughs> I'm sorry, I will I would probably just laugh, laugh through this video. <laughs> How to escape a dungeon. Ten easy steps. Hmm. All the pages are torn out. Is that a meme to something? How to escape a dungeon, ten easy steps, all the pages are torn out. <laughs> okay, that's that's quite easy if we do the uh, blocking thing. Uh, I would have loved to in the animation a little bit of more smoothness in the moves set, but it's all right. It's all right. I mean, it's a game that doesn't take it much itself too serious. Like it's uh, it's supposed to be memey and funny and clowny. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a little gnome. Blow out the candle. I don't know why, what, what that helped me, but At I blew this it point, something Ooh. interesting Butt cheeks. needs to happen. How about some orcs having trouble connecting to their Wi-Fi, for example? What? No. Not good enough. Take a look at this big pressure plate instead. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> activate the pressure plate. Lucy told our hero she was unable to activate the pressure plates by her own. Something heavy has to stand on it. Yes! Oh! This outcome probably didn't come as a surprise to anyone. Except for Sullivan, who got very surprised to see the prisoner, our hero, escape on a killing spree in the dungeon. This perfectly wraps up the introduction, though. Let's continue. <laughs> the alarm goes off. <laughs> oh, this poor orcs. What the fuck? A little gnome. <laughs> Bingo. 
Ooh. Ults to dodge? Oh, he's shooting. I see. Hey, buddy. Carl Gustav. What is it? You're not going to blow me up? Oh, hello, little gnome. Oh, Abishard. What is this? Apparently, it can be used to purchase fast weapons, such as swords, from the blacksmith. <laughs> I don't know why the blacksmith is so funny for me. Maybe because I, I, I know German and it's, uh, I don't know. I, I cannot tell you, but it's it's making me giggle. It has no odd reasons. It's what the hell is up there? Block hit. Oh, he's he's a stronger one. He's a stronger one. Doo -doo. So. Hello there, friend. Oak sneaker. I see. Hello. Oh, oh. Don't you run away. Don't you run away. Okay. Uh, a treasure. Is this a mimic? What? What? A propeller hat? What a rarity! It does not generate enough lift to be airborne, but reduces fall damage when equipped. Your lad is a feather and has a 50% reduced fall damage. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Let's pull the lever. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? These traps don't Safety make first. Any sense. Dungeon oh, has worked 2 minutes without like incidents. Oh well. Okay. Let's see. Fire. Oh no! Oh, what's happened? I, I wonder what happens now. Does it trigger me back? Dungeon has worked. Zero. Oh, it actually re remembers that I fucked it up. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. That is nice. Oh, I'm on fire! Achievement unlocked. Catch fire. Him in. Oh, wait, it threw me out here? Oh, Lucy, I see. What? Well, it was actually quite obvious. I had a little gnome. Holds for a long jump. Whoa, okay. That was quite a long jump. I, oh, I have to hold the block button only, not block in the perfect moment. Would have been more challenging blocking them. For, is this Mickey Mouse? Loot's drunken work. So I can loot from the drunken people. A bit over refreshed and hungry, but looks pretty happy. Birthday. Oh my goodness. The orc lady is pretty strong. I like you, but I have to kill you. Achievements. Kill your first orc war maiden. Whoopass. Okay. A bit over refreshed and hungry, but looks pretty happy. <laughs> oh. Instantly Delicious candy. Consumed. And has the effect of lowering all damage taken for some unexplained reason. Okay. 
Broomba 9000. <laughs> oh, man. There's some more over here. Let's loot their money. I'll take all of it. I'll take all of it. I'm, I'm a loot goblin. I'm gonna smash each and everything of it. What the hell am I playing here? This is hilarious. What do we have here? Halloween party costume ideas. Human goblins. Human but dumb. Ghosts. No weapons are allowed. Ozrak. Hello. Remember to keep the prison locked. Prison guard schedule. Monday to Wednesday. Darden. Thursday to Saturday. Cupcake. Sunday. Please. Kanit was here. <laughs> Can I attack the Broomba? No, I cannot attack the Broomba. Okay. Onwards remove. Make your weapon out of the uh, make your way out of the dungeon. Cannot open that door. Over here we go. Ooh. Is that something important? No. Are you important? Oh commander. Two hits, he's down. Nice. Uh, I don't trust this here, but let's open it. Let's see what we get. It's grabbing in, so probably a weapon. Oh, it's Scepter. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. I will shoot you in the R. Oh, you got yourself a magic stick. Filled to the brim with the awesome burning fury. <laughs> Press button to switch to it and release the destructive force. Okay. Three. <coughs> he just coughed. <laughs> what did the sound decide to this? Oh my goodness. I can't take this serious. Come on. It has unlimited shots. But something happened behind me. Now that we have reached the end of the tutorial level, the player is ready for the actual game. Oh. But here's also the mandatory deadly swinging trap section with the jumping puzzle. <laughs> Just <as> expected. <laughs> It just does one damage. Orc hipster? <laughs> hey, Orc hipster. There we go. There we go. Not so hip anymore. Kill your first Orc hipster. Oh man, okay. Super dark over here. Zip. Oh, level up. Uh, improves attack power. Strength, confirm. The, is the block. Nice. Oh. Oh. What? He ran in their own trap? That will probably go unnoticed. They ran into their own trap. There we go. Finally, we are done. Oh shit! This That's is some... also emphasized in the uplifting background music. <laughs> in fact, we have decided we are completely done with our hero as well. It's time to let things go. Is it? <laughs> Fine. Let's show what really happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh man. <laughs> Tip, this is also loading screen. Oh. It is so silly that I can overlook the the lackiness in their animation. And hello. Whoa! What does he have a head? <gasps> we killed the resistance. <laughs> He's slowly turning around. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh, we're having a. Oh no. Oh no, I'm fire. Oh no, I'm on fire. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Kill uh, Kenny Noble. Wait, his name is Kenny Nobles? There we go. There we go, Candy No Bulls. How about now? Oh, that's the spirit of the lady that we just squished. This I think she's angry. This mysteriously bobbing ghost lady is Melisande, leader of the Ceaseless Warriors Guild that now had become ceased. <laughs> she asked who our hero was and where he came from. Um, Sir Wubaz, at your Melisande service. Melisande paid no attention to our hero's answer, since she was too busy thinking about the big explosion that killed her. She asked our hero if he had something to do with it. Um, maybe? Outraged by the answer, Melisande demanded our hero to resurrect her before it was too late. She explained that the ingredients could be found in and around the village, and the ritual could be performed in the basement of the Jolly Barrel Inn. The Jolly Barrel also, Inn. Also, it's too dangerous to walk alone. Take my mace with you. Mace? I can't use it in this form anyways, she added before she vanished. I'm getting a mace? Wow. You just Spine acquired Ripper. your first heavy-duty weapon. Heavy weapons are used to destroy heavy things. <laughs> Press button to switch to it and let the havoc begin. Okay. Okay. Wow. Hey, that little gnome. Hey, there's another gnome. I'm not a gnome, I'm a gnelf. You got gnomed, you little elf. So, I'm gonna, of course, collect all these little ones here. Wait, I have a maximum? Cannot have any anymore. Well, then you're free to go. Then you're free to go, little one. Go wherever you may please. There we go. Chickens. Pick up. Skunkweed. bit weird, but apparently has healing abilities. Skunkweed. I don't want to know. A Winter. delicious, but poisonous root. Better not eat this one. Okay, well that's that's nasty if it's delicious. Gather eggs. Hello, villagers. Okay, I cannot interact with the villagers. Fuck! Oh, they're not coming as in uh, Zelda. When they're a swarm at you. Okay. Ten more eggs. <laughs> I don't know why this is so satisfying. Poor little chickens. Poor little chickens. 
So over here. Dodge should put out the fire. What fire? I guess there's somewhere a fire. So we need more skunk weed. More skunk weed. I'm full with you. Is that piggies? Oh, these piggies look cute. A little bit weird though in their animation, but cute. This looks good. One more. And I think I found it. There we go. And now we need to go into the... Jolly something something. Hello there. Is there everybody drunk in here? You old shoppe of severe beatings. Is that where I go and, and buy me new weapons or upgrades my weapon probably with the collected things? I guess that's it. it. The Jolly Barrel Inn. Okay. So let's go first here. Uh, apparently I can not do anything here. I guess I have to do the quest first. Sounds like a little kid is crying. Is it Nuka Cola? This looks like a Nuka Cola si uh, thing one. Use the vending machine. Ammo for the chickenator. Eggs. Yeah, forget it. This reminds me somehow of uh, Gothic. Of him standing outside. Smoking. But yeah, let's have a look in the end. This lie is a cake. <laughs> oh man, there's more Broombas 9000s. Gonna loot the drunken work. <laughs> Talk to Barb the Goblin Band. Our hero was not satisfied with the current song and asked the bard to play another one. Uh, song three. Is that a king over there singing? Karaoke is king. Make the bard play another song. This is good, good tunes though. Our hero was not satisfied with uh, the song. Play song two. And Din, 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 din. That's a good one. <laughs> There's a huge giant over here in the corner. Drunk dead. Dude, what the actual F is going on? They told me to go into the cellar, right? So let's go into the cellar. And resurrect the lady. However that may work. Ooh, alchemy activate suspicious ritual. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Our hero browsed through the spell book and confidently picked the correct spell, as any protagonist would do. <laughs> oh, the last one. Gojerai ptisek sokha. Probably some of the demon. What the fuck? As Melisande casually thanked our hero for reviving her, she couldn't fail to notice something felt a bit off. She apparently was not fully recovered and asked if our hero really had used the correct spell on her. 
Uh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Our hero lied. This was a terrible situation. Now that Melisande's warriors were all dead and she was incapable to fight, she explained that orcs and other foul beasts were harassing the lands and they needed someone to keep them at bay before the immortal grew too powerful. Our hero had not yet heard about the main antagonist and asked Melisande to explain a bit more about him. Oh. Okay. <laughs> a long time ago, the immortal came to this land. He okay. introduced himself as a humble and kind wizard that a spoiled and kind wizard. with gifts and luxurious artifacts which they naively accepted. He eventually became acquainted with the highest royalties in the capital city, yeah, earning here. him more trust and access to all of the land's resources, free of charge. Free of charge. Big mistake. One morning, the citizens were awoken by the immortal's enchanting voice with the city shaking uncontrollably. Not only did he split the capital city, but he also divided the land into three parts, making it impossible for the people to reach him. Fortunately for us, he is a villain of good conduct and forged the villain-beating artifact, the only weapon powerful enough to defeat him. <laughs> the whereabouts of this weapon is, of course, unknown. <laughs> Okay, well, so we're about to find that weapon. She could not take on the quest to defeat the immortal in her current state and asked our hero to take her place instead. She realized our hero maybe could be useful after all by talking to Richard Morningwood, the ticket master. He is located just outside Morningwood? Town at his extraordinary carnival site, hmm? she added. But the back when it looks terrible. Did you get that of the cereal box? Visit the blacksmith here in town and get yourself in some new gear. Melisande will remain here at the inn and keep the local pub supporters hydrated until she has healed. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. This is hilarious, but I think this gives a good good insight of uh, Sir Wubass. Looks like an open world RPG that is just completely wacky fun and uh just is uh filled to the brim with jokes i hope they keep the quality and the jokes hitting you throughout the whole game but if you want to know more links in the descriptions down below have a look at it check it out yourself so whoop ass comment on steam and let me know what you think of it let me know what you think of it thanks for watching until next time bye bye